What is up, everybody? How y'all doing? I'm here to give you guys a recap on the new episode of Haikyuu Second Season on episode 20. Now, I am pretty sure a lot of you have been waiting for this moment to come. Even I was waiting for it. Dude, when I was just watching this episode, I'm like, what the hell? I saw... <laughs> you know? I was just like, whoa, man, what's going on here, etc. Anyways, um... This episode was pretty cool, and so forth, and let's just get started. Okay, at the beginning, you know, like, um, we have two of the, our two opponents, Seijo and Karasuno, are doing their warm-ups, getting ready for their, what would to be battle going to the Nationals, you know? So, whoever wins is, like, most likely going to hit to the Nationals at most, but they have to go through a couple schools first in order to, like, improve that they got the chip, they got, the, they got this down on the count whatsoever, you know? Anyways, um, let's go. Have a, having a couple words of exchange, they finally play the game. Not to mention, I think, like, um, I'm not even sure who got the ball first. I forgot. It's either between, um, Jose or Karasno. But later on, Karasno ends up using the new moves and techniques, and they manage to score a couple points ahead, you know? Except, Jose ends up coming back. As well, like they get closer, they get they get close to them, like tie to tie point, you know. But eventually, Karasuno will end ends up using the new quick and the new moves techniques, yada yada yada. You guys get the point, and they get ahead by by at least two or three points, you know. But eventually, we get to know Oikawa, that guy who's apparently on Jose's um, side. We get to know that like um, he is pretty much one of like um. One of the crazy serves that I've seen so far. Like, um, he's even surprised that Daichi and many others will actually get to it. But the only thing that's really scary is that when he actually served one time, I think it's like almost towards the end, he freaking smacked that volleyball like a cannonball and it came and I just go like, what the hell, dude? I had to rewatch, I had to watch that many, many times to understand, like, um, is that even possible? So I even went to, I even went on to other videos to see how if it's actually really possible to smack that ball like really quickly without no without anyone noticing, you know? And it is actually possible even in like um real life volleyball in like um national tournaments. I had to be sure though to see like um if it's really like um really like really able to do, you know? So that was a cannonball, but that went out. So they just go like, what the hell was that? Even like um, one of our girls go like, someone's arm is going to fly off and so forth, you know? That was pretty funny. Oh, yeah. um, Not to mention that we get to have like... um, We get to have our mad dog finally subbing in for someone. And when he spiked the ball and Jose was only behind by one point apparently... He actually showed a lot of, he sh when he spiked that ball, he showed a lot of devastating power right there. Like, literally, everyone went like, what the hell just happened right now? Like, he just jumped up and BAH! But he, 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 knocked out, he knocked down one of his players, though. And this shows that Jose, or whatever the, whatever the rematch is, apparently, is pretty much saying that... Even though you guys have some weapons, we got another weapon up our sleeve that you got to be ready of, you know? So yeah, it ends off there. It was like 24-23, but after that freaking crazy cannon strike from the mad dog he was named by um, Oikawa, he apparently made it 24-24, which becomes a deuce. So, next up, so I do not know what's going to happen, but it's going to continue the match between Karasuno and Jose, or Josai, whatever you want to freaking, like, um, call it, call their, um, or pronounce the team, you know, it, it, it's, eh, whatever. Anyways, this episode was pretty good, I mean, the rematch between, like, um, Karasuno and Jose is pretty much like, um, Starting up right now, especially when it came, comes to the first set. Holy cow, dude. Pretty scary stuff. Don't know what's going to happen, but depending on the road, it has to be satisfying to how Karasuno or 
Jose is going to lose, you know. It could go either side, but it could go on for a long time. So we're going to have to find out later. Until then, I'm Alpha Zero, people. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Bye-bye.